Oftentimes when patients come in and they have a non-restorable tooth, we recommend a bone grafting procedure, which is a socket preservation graft. So we remove the tooth, we place a bone graft, and we let the area heal for a couple of months before we place the implant. By placing the bone graft, we're actually promoting uh, more rapid and fast, faster healing of the area, more bone regeneration, and a better aesthetic outcome for the patient when that implant is restored. We have various techniques that we are able to utilize when we perform a bone grafting procedure. And they depend on the extent of the bone grafting that we need to do. So generally, if it's a simple extraction, we can place a bone graft and let the area heal for a couple of months before we're able to place the implant. However, oftentimes we have situations that patients come in and they have less than an ideal volume of bone. So we need to consider utilizing more advanced techniques of bone grafting. The techniques that we use in the office involve taking a small portion, a small sample of the patient's blood and using the growth factors from your blood to mix with the bone graft prior to placing it. This technique promotes better tissue healing and a better quality of bone formation in the area so that we're able to place implants later.